Guys, don't leave this video kasi meron tayong giveaway. Di ba, Therese? Yes! So, oh, may giveaway tayo. Ano yung giveaway natin? Ah, I'm not gonna tell you yet kasi hindi pa tapos ang video. Wait uh, until this video <laughs> ends para sa giveaway mechanics. Kaya dapat oh. tapusin yung video. So, ako po ang inyong Pama sa Wuso na si Kiwi Kia! Uh, nandito naman po ako para sa isang panibagong uh, video for all of you. Interesting na video. I bumped into this very entertaining and uh, avid Hallyu fan na YouTuber. Ang dami, siyang, dami niyang videos. I think halos more than 100 videos sa YouTube. So panu- panuorin mo siya after this video. But watch my video muna, okay? Uh, my new Nuna. My new Nuna. Si... YouTuber Terry Suso! Hi! Oh, I'm Alex. I'm a lifestyle vlogger and YouTuber now. That a vlogger lang talaga ako, but now I'm a YouTuber also. So, hi guys! Oh. Hi Cupid! Hello! Oh, Cupid! Thank you for greeting my Cupid! Pero, oh. ano Uh, para sa content for today, ngayon kasi nung nasa pandemic tayo, di ba? Quarantine. So, we forgot about this thought na about love, pag-ibig, joa. And I thought, ano kaya ang difference na Korean joa and Filipino joa? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Pero before anything else, itong video na ito is for entertainment purposes. Wala po, wala po tayong uh, intention to offend anyone. So, sana wala po kayong misunderstanding tungkol sa ating opinion. But before we start on our content, meron akong uh, tanong, how did you fall in love with Korea? Mm, okay. How did I fall in love with Korea? Or are you in love with Korea? Yeah. Ah, okay, I, okay. That's a yes. <laughs> that's a yes. Um, actually, I know, it, it all started when I visited the country. Okay, which was when? <laughs> 2018. Oh, okay. It's not it's like the others na tagal na talaga. Actually, before, I really don't like when my friends would talk about K-pop, ganon, and K-drama. Because I'm not one. <laughs> I'm not one before. <laughs> uh uh-uh. So, parang, I didn't really expect what happened. Na parang, when I went to Korea, I really loved the environment. That's nice. Oh. And habang tumagal, I told myself that I'm gonna go back and explore the environment more. Okay. So when I went back there, it was just me. Tapos I really looked through the culture, through not yung tourist sites. Ganon. I really went to villages na parang patok sa Korea. So uh... I just spent people watching and everything. That's when it started. Na parang I watched the entertainment shows na din. I listen to the songs and everything. So, yun. I fell in love with Korea through visiting the country. <laughs> through visiting the country, you know? Because other people kasi, it's more like K-pop or uh, K-drama. Pero sa'yo, yung country mo na. And uh, then, and then Hallyu culture. Yeah. Uh, take a real honey. Oh. Very rare case. Kaya, yeah, since you are in love with Korea, how would you describe Korea in one word? Kahit anong lenguahe. One word to describe this is, ano ba? It's home. Home na din for me. Oh. Actually, home pa rin naman yung Philippines. Because this is where I grew up. But it's something that I could, it, the country is something that I could imagine myself living in. Kronan! If you had the chance to stay in Korea or live in Korea, you would choose Korea over Philippines. Um, I've been battling with that thought talaga. No, parang ah, magstay pa ako sa Korea, mag-aral pa ako doon, ganyan. Pero laging sagot ko, it's yes now, but in the future I have to go back in the ah. Philippines. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Kasi it's really hard to start a new life, di ba? And all the people that you're related with are here. Tama, tama. But I really see it na titirahan ko for a few years or a long time. Mm, ganun din ako eh. Habang tumatagal yung stay ko dito sa Pinas, parang mahirap bumalik sa Korea. Dahil yung mga mm-hmm. yung mga loved ones, yung mga friends ko, nandito na sa Pinas eh. Yeah. Wait! When were you here ba? When ah, did you start living? Um, 
11 years ago, 10 years ago. Oh, so you practically you practically grew up here. Yeah. That's why I can say I'm Pusong Pinoy. Pinoy. Pusong Pinoy. Siyempre nakita ko na yung mga videos mo sa YouTube. Yung isang video na may pinakamaraming views ay yung Korean Jagia mo. Aha, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Actually, I uh, know. Na Napalad mo? Of Actually, course. That's, uh, that's a sponsored video ah. from Oh My Opa. Yeah. Ah, chita. Yeah, it's in, Oh My Opa is yung site na you would rent an opa to tour ah. you around Korea. Okay. <laughs> but uh, there, I really learned so much from that opa. Kasi Wait. We re Siya ba yung boyfriend mo ngayon? Ande, ande. 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 He has the Korean perspective that I didn't have at that time. Because uh, in the time na yon, I was really starting pa lang to know more about Korea. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so I learned so much from him. About Korea. Pero sa pag attend ko ng shows, I met so many more people. Kuroma, this, this drives me to this question. Ha, you have dated Korea. Kahit, kahit mm -hmm. sa, yung lalaki sa video. Yeah. Filipino joa, have you experienced? Ha. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Come a perfect person, you know. Perf perfect person. Why? 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 Perfect person. Because the next question for you is, what is the characteristic of Korean Joa vs Filipino Joa? Ooh, it's a bit hard. Oh. I think, ano, yung sa Filipino Joas, I think it really differs. Pero kasi Filipinos are more chill. Chill? Oh, okay. Kasi diba, like, I, I think Korean, it's part of the Korean dating culture that you're really clingy. Ah, <sighs> Eh, what's that? Diba? That's the word that I didn't want to, I know, to give shade na. Pero yung, yun yung word, clingy. And makikita natin yun with the, ano, diba, nauso yung couple, couple shirts, couple Maza, hair. Eh. Hair. And what? I think that's what I'm talking about. In Korea, that's what I'm talking about. Because... Couple fashion, couple accessories, couple bidet. I'm joking, it's not bidet. And here in the Philippines, I think we don't really practice that. There was a stage that we practiced that. The couple shirts, couple shoes, couple everything. But it's really not our thing. What else? What else? And I think the... Part din sa pagiging clingy, I think you text more. Guys text more? Yeah, guys, Korean guys text more, calls more than Filipino guys. Mm, yeah, yeah, actually, now that I think mm -hmm. of it, no, okay. Yeah, I think kasi like them, if they're working, ganun, they would all, they would text pa rin kahit nasa work. So, Philippines parang, sige, text na lang kita mamaya, ganun. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung karalas. It's okay not to text each other every minute, ganun. But in Korea, we're not saying we report to our joas, no? But yeah. it's a give, give and take. Ka, I think it's a yeah. practice na nga, oh, sa inyo. Yeah. So, yun, it's a big difference. Actually, it's not really a big difference. It still differs dun sa Filipino joa mo. Pero it's not really a practice here in the Philippines. I think dito sasabihin na parang nakakasakal naman yung jowa mo. But sa inyo, it's... It's ganun eh. Kahit sa girls, di ba? They're it's like normal. That. Yeah, it's normal like yeah. that. May iba ka pang uh, observation? Um, I think yung ano din. Ah, eto, yung pagliligaw. Ah! Courting uh -oh. stage. Di ba? Dito sa Philippines, legal stage is really something... Important. Yeah, it's also important in Korea. But let's see. I'll I'll hear it out. Ah, uh, because parang um, legal stage in the Philippines is getting to know each other. Okay. Na hindi pa kayo during that time. Ah, kacho. Eh. Mm -hmm. 
it's just making friends with each other. Pero sa Korea, di ba, it's walang ganun eh. Walang stage na Yes. Yung parang na-hold kayo, gano'n. Although, meron yung, di ba, pag sinabi natin na, pag sinabi sa Korea na we're dating, dun pala magsistart. Ah. Pero, Kinde, kugo to. It has a difference. Kasi we also have this something called sub. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. It means like, there is something going on between you guys. Mm-hmm. So, parang, we would say, the getting to know each other, it's during that sub stage. Yeah, but when it comes to like dating, uh, there are more cases that they would start to know each other when they dating. No? Uh, yeah. Pero ano yung yung na kita ng the friends kasi talaga. It's like when you're when you're dating in Korea, you're really dating. You're doing the couple stuff and everything. Yeah. Pero dito kasi yung legal stage. You're dating, but hindi nyo pa ginagawa yung ano couple stuff. Well, uh, although, although ngayon nag- nag-iiba na. Nag-iiba okay. na ngayon. Pero if you're um, someone conservative, medyo iba pa talaga yung legal stage. Legal stage is super cautious. Mahinhin pa yung girls. Uh, yung guy, super gentleman pa. Ganun. Pero na-curious ako ah. Uh, in Korea, uh, when you like someone, you get to know the parents also. Parents, no. In Korea, no. no. Uh, in Philippines, no. In Philippines, yes. Ah, in Philippines, because I heard na if you if a guy likes a girl and wants to date a girl, you have to talk to the parents. Yeah, yeah. Yun yung sinasabi kong kasi when you're in legal stage, uh-huh. some some parents, conservative parents, would like the guy or but they would like the guy to go to the house. And ask permission. Ah. Na pwede pong ligawan yung anak nyo, gano'n. Medyo seryoso, ano? Uh, uh, na kahit na boyfriend-girlfriend pa rin, you have to meet the parents. Ah. Kundi, uri, Koreanan. No. Diba? And, diba, minsan parang kakasal na sila, dun palang malalaman. Yun. Yeah, pero so, we have like this, uh, sangyonle, it means like, uh, meet up before marriage, no? Uh, actually, we, we also have that. Uh, uh, oh, yung mag- meet up kayo for wedding plans. Yeah, yeah. Kunde in Philippines, kahit joa joa lang, like, ko, like, puppy puppy love. And yung ano yung sinasabi nila, like, from a conservative family, tatanong nila na parang, why do you have to go out and date outside pag nagliligaw legal stage pa? Gusto ah. nila sa house mo date. So, ah. yun, yun talaga. You have to go to the house of the girl. If you're Kung gusto ko ng Filipino na jowa, I need, I need to study. I need to study talaga, no? Aha, uh-huh, yeah. I have misunderstanding na kahit hindi alam yung parents, okay lang. Pinoy. So, uh, we know about yung difference ng Filipino and Korean dating culture. Sige, let's move something personal to you. Ano mm-hmm. kaya ang ideal type mo? Ay, nako, ang hirap. <laughs> Yeah, ano, actually, ever since nung naging Hallyu girl na ako, okay. my friends would tell me na parang, i-type mo naman, puro opa, ganun. <laughs> Pero before before being a Hallyu girl, parang type ko is the same thing that you told me, mga American, blue eyes, ganun. <laughs> Pero ngayon, nag na. Pero hindi ko din sasabihin na gusto ko ng opa, ganun. It's more of, ano na lang, um, someone who has respect to elders. Yeah. I'm not gonna say yung kung ano talagang race. Kasi when I, when I explored yung sa Seoul Fashion Week, you know, I really met so much nationality. Okay. That's when I saw na parang race and culture is not a thing sa akin to consider. I just need someone na, ano, na respect elders, respects my family. And respects me as a person. Because I don't like the way how I dress, how I work, how I love this thing. So yon, I think yon respect sa family ko, respect sa elders, respect sa akin. So puro respect. Pinoy, gusto ko lang maklaro ng konting balance game, A or B game. 
Okay? Oh, okay. Sige. Ano ang Ready gusto na. mo sa lalaki? Tall versus short. Hana, two, set. Long. Ah. <laughs> Big eyes, small eyes. Hana, two, set. Small eyes. Small eyes. Hindi naman ganang kaswal. Baka hindi ko alam kung tulog siya o hindi. <laughs> okay. Lean muscles versus buffy muscles. Lean muscles. Lean muscles. Last two question ko sa'yo. Filipino Joa vs. Korean Joa. Ah, ah. <laughs> 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 Wag na lang yung sagutin <laughs> I think I have to explore. <laughs> okay. Dahil bata pa tayo, marami pa tayong oras. Aha. Mm, madami pa oras. Ito lang itong uh, lalaki dyan. Gusto nyo mag-explore din. Dito lang si Teresa. <laughs> That leads to my uh, last two questions. No? Uh, mm -hmm. If you were to have a chance, uh, sa liba, sabi ni uh, Isuman, sa nasing name, or JYP, or You Here, or, or Big Hit, uh, Mr. Bang, na you can date any of the value industry. Sino kaya ang pinate mo? My gosh! Ang oh, hirap naman eh. Uh, actually, if you're gonna ask me sino yung bias ko, okay. I'm gonna tell na it's God Seven's Jin Young. God Seven's Jin Young? They say I look like God Seven's Jin Young, but okay. Nasaan? <laughs> Tingnan nga! <laughs> Pero kasi if I'm considering his characteristics, sa akin kasi importante pa rin yung characteristics niya. Okay. Medyo kasi serious siyang tao. Ah. And I think kung serious siyang tao, baka tahimik na lang yung bahay. Ganun. If you're gonna ask me kung sino, hindi si Jin Yang, kahit na siya yung bias. Okay. I think it's gonna be EXO Specule. Ah, EXO Specule. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Minsan they also say I look like this. Because uh, okay. I think I consider consider ko siya kasi funny siya. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, responsible naman siya at times. <laughs> Kunde, funny habo responsible man. Do you know Lee Kwang Soo? Lee Kwang Soo, yeah. Running man? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's funny also. <laughs> you Jesok is also responsible and funny. <laughs> Sige na. <laughs> Pero siyempre, tinignan ko ba rin yung siya si Becky. <laughs> Ako, bias nga talaga. <laughs> Oo nga, bias ko siya. <laughs> Pero ayun, I ask this question, hindi lang kay Therese. Pero sa mga viewers din, sino kaya ang inyong bias? Or maybe, sino ang gusto mong jowae sa Hallyu industry? Mag-comment na lang kayo sa comment session. And then, we will be choosing one person. One person for a giveaway. Nang ano? Nang one album, chaka one light stick. Yeah, one album and one light stick. You go free, free, eh? Okay? Free giveaway. And the Pero, thing is, yeah. and the thing is, they are the one who will choose anong album, chaka anong light stick. Ah, talaga? You will be the yeah. one. Yeah. This was sponsored by Soul Hall.